Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial on my YouTube channel 3 Decor. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and follow me on other platforms. Okay, without wasting time, let's get a start the sculpt the head of that. We need the UV sphere. I go to sculpt mode and with X axis mirror of that and with grab brush. Okay, push it to here. I want to make the box of the head and the neck of that with this reference. Actually, we don't want to make similar to this reference because you know the copyright law. We are only supposed to be inspired by it. Okay, for now, I want to fix the head of that and box of the head and make the neck okay push it to here and here the throat of that with grab brush which is a G as a shortcut key of that okay push it here now I will push it the throat for make base of that okay here and here that's very important for us because it's connected to the body and clavicle bone of the body for top of the chest okay and for back of the neck push it to here a little bit okay let's fix back of the head from top of that similar to realistic and now I will remesh that and symmetrize on x-axis now I will smooth a little bit that now let's mask it with press M for shortcut of that and you reverse that for make the ear okay push it to here like a ear of the elves actually i think this is the remesh with default value of that it's for the make ear okay i will push it to here because i think that's very big okay let's press alt m to remove all of the mask and now I want to remesh, I think the 0 0.0300 it's good, let's symmetrize of that on x-axis, now I will select the draw sharp brush with D key and draw here for deepen at the place of the eyes, okay here and little bit here okay and connected that to the nose all right looks good similar to skull and skeleton okay here and draw here for sharpen at that but let me script here because it's very close to the skeleton okay now I will draw here with the clay strips brush for add muscles of the eyebrow here and cut it here because this character is angry and he frowned okay and draw here with the clay strips brush to here eyebrow muscles of that and smooth a little bit okay now I will fill the place of the eyes for make that I think it's good but let me sharpen it and push it to here with grab brush okay here and here I'm just fix the eyelid okay let's see this on other side let me push a little bit here with grab brush now let's sharpen it the 
eyebrow with hold control and draw with clay strips brush now i will fix the nose and actually make that let me uh, fix the place of that and push it a little bit to here actually to outside okay let's push it the face to here for show whether that on front side now let me add the check of that around the eyes and the close to ear now let me sculpt completely the nose with draw sharp brush and now move it to here and expand that because it's nose from the orc not for the human and the normally nose okay push it to here eyebrow muscles and cut it here with draw sharp brush and add check to here for fix after that the mouth and the lips okay now let's spend more time for fix the eyes sharpen it the bottom eyelid of that and connected that to the check okay here and a smooth little bit and fix the skull now let me sharpen it the check and push it to here with the grab brush all right let me fix the eyes it looks like angry and foreign okay let me fix the eyes because the eyes on the face is very important i think it's the most important okay now I think it's over for this step of remesh. Let's get a start the make of the mouth and the lips. Okay, push it to here. Looks like a reference, but not very similar of that. Okay, here, sharpen it that with hold control and draw for push to inside and outside actually okay move it to here with grab brush and now i will add the horn for bottom of the jaw i don't know what is this i'm just sculpt that like reference okay looks good let me fix that with grab brush and add the jaw angle with clay strips brush and draw sharp brush smooth a little bit sharpen it here okay and fix it from bottom side all right and push it to here looks like human anatomy and the ear i will draw here with draw sharp brush deepen it the ear okay push it to there and fix that this ear looks like an elf ear elf actually now I will draw here for cut that and push to outside here. Okay, and a little bit more. All right, I think it's good. But uh, let's uh, spend more time for fix back of that with draw sharp brush here and 
let's see this from front side and find the flaws of that now i will select a snake hook brush for expands the tip of the ear looks like an elf and fix it after that with grab brush okay push it to here actually the ear looks beautiful with have a curve okay i will fix that from front side all right now I will smooth a little bit and draw with the clay strips brush here. Okay, and check off the face. Draw to here and here. Now I will smooth here. Okay, everything is good. Now let's sculpt the bone of the neck to the throat for connection that's to the clavicle and actually connect to the body head to the body all right fix the throat and here okay this part is for the head especially for head head of the orc okay let me draw more for the neck okay to here and smooth a little bit okay it looks good okay i forget to say that sometimes i saw in the some comments that you object to the fact that there is no voice on the videos so I decided to add my voice to videos from now on. You can learn the blender from now it's better. Okay. I should also mention that I made a very professional course on character creation in Blender version 4 and I will publish it soon. That period will really be a surprise. I will not spoil more than this. Okay, let's continue for sculpt this orc, the head of that with grab brush, push it to here with this jaw, the strange jaw actually, push it here looks like a reference and push a little bit more to up because the head is very important on character sharpen at the check and fix that connect it to the other muscles on the face and these muscles on the jaw okay looks nice but let me fix that push it here and more i will fix the jaw angle and draw with the clay strips brush top of that okay for now i will draw here for show whether the lips and the line of the mouth all right let me inflate the lips with inflate brush and fix it that from bottom side of that smooth here and draw again for show better that and make it better looks nice now I will draw here with clay strips brush. All right, now I will script the top of the head with a script brush. Okay, draw more here. I think it's good, but let me fix that. Okay, now I will fix and show that the lip okay here 
here and smooth a little bit. Now I will add many details on that for the next step of remesh. And now I will add the muscles for back of the neck here with clay strips brush. Actually, the clay strips brush is very good for add muscles. Okay, push it here and fix that. I think it's good. Let me cut here. All right, now let's see this. I think it's good. Okay, smooth the here and push it a little bit that. All right, and add muscles a little bit here. Looks good. I will fix that. Now I'm just fix the chain. Push it to here, this strange chain and a script that looks like a reference. I place the link of this reference and description of this video. You can download that and sculpt it. Okay, now I press R for choose the better value for remesh. I think it's good but i think that's not a very high poly i will press r key again for choose better remesh value point zero nine hundred it's good i will smooth the eyes for sculpt the eyes for the first after remesh i think that's not good good let's draw with the draw sharp brush let's see this i think that's not good i will press ctrl z and draw again and for the eyelid and top of the eyelid of the eyes here with the hold ctrl and draw for draw to outside of that okay here and here okay i think the eyes is good now i will fix that with clay strips brush here and the tip of that and push it to here looks like a falling and angry all right I think it's good. Uh, let me push a little bit, tip of the eyelid to outside for show better that. All right, now I will press Ctrl R for remesh it again for the eyes because it's very important. Okay, draw here, here, and here. All right, draw with the clay strips brush, looks good. Now I will fix the eyelid and sharpen it that with the clay strips brush and draw sharp brush. Okay, I will see this on afar, looks good, but uh, let me uh, fix the eyelash here and the place of the eyelash actually with the clay strips brush here and here okay let me smooth a little bit here and again all right let's see this i think it's good but let me fix that and inflate the eyes all right i think it's good let's fix that from bottom side with grab brush looks good now i want to add detail for the eyes and close to the nose and eyebrow muscles i don't know what is this i think that's not muscles i think the 
facial flash or skin i don't know that i'm so sorry let's fix the nose and sculpt that okay draw here for at the hole of the nose and fix it that with grab brush push it to here all right and now i will draw with the clay strips brush and cut the nose for start a sculpt the check of the face okay here i think it's good smooth it here and i will add detail here for show the face falling and angry okay looks good now i will draw here again okay and let's sculpt for make completely the nose with Draw sharp brush and grab brush for fix that. Smooth it here and sharpen it there. Okay, for at the hole for the nose. Now I will select the clay strips brush for make the tip of the nose. Looks good here and sharpen it there let's see this wow it made a difference okay now let's push it to here the tip of the nose and inflate all of that for fix it and close every part together and fix the nose with clay strips brush and the top of that and the elbow skin and flash draw here and smooth a little bit now I will sculpt the wrinkles from the forehead with clay strips brush and draw sharp brush okay again draw here and smooth a little bit now let's cut it with drop sharp brush for show better that here and here and push it down okay and fix that the eyelid and scrap it here looks like a reference and with my taste actually the tip of the nose and fix the hole of that let's scrape it here with a script brush and draw here for cut the nose and separate that from other parts and fix it looks good i'm just fix the tip of the nose it's very good now i will fix it there and after that draw on the check of the face to here with clay strips brush and smooth that little bit okay and again here to here and smooth it let me fix that with grab brush now i will fix the top of the lips for push it to here and close the mouth to the nose looks like a reference all right now i will draw here the check here and now i will 
draw again with clear strips brush and check off the face little bit more here very carefully here here and here okay and after that smooth it okay close to the ear draw here and smooth again all right now i will add details for and the face here here with draw sharp brush push check to here for show over there the face and draw here okay and here looks good now i will fix and add the wrinkles for forehead here and smooth it and now let's cut the tip of the lips for smooth the lips and show better that let's add the line of the mouth to here looks like a reference and there now i will sharpen it the upper lips here and smooth it now let me add the details on that with clay strips brush here here and here okay now let's see this you can see that that is a very beautiful and a realistic lip for now i'm just draw also for bottom lip and now i will draw a little bit more here and for end of the eyes okay with clay strips brush now let's cut it here for show whether the nose the tip of the nose and looks like a realistic without a skin skin alpha texture actually now let's fix the middle of the nose all right and smooth it okay now i will see this let's fix the mouth line of that here and push it to here looks good let's draw here the check and fix it that push to inside with grab brush all right that was looks nice i will fix that here and smooth it a little bit all right now let's see this and smooth a little bit okay push it to here oops i forget to sculpt the ear on high poly let's get started that draw here here and deepen it there for show better the ear okay sharpen it here and i will smooth here and for back of the ear i will inflate the edge of that and fix it with grab brush now let's draw here for show better the head from behind i will cut the jaw and separate that from other parts of the face okay now i will sharpen it the chain like a reference here and draw with the clay strips brush here for to continue the lips 
all right now let's draw here for separate the lips bottom lips actually of the chain all right now i will fix the face like a reference let me draw here for sure but the horn actually this is a like a horn material here draw there okay and draw with the clay strips brush here and the jaw actually the muscles of the jaw or bone on skeleton let's smooth after draw on that let me fix it from front side the jaw looks like a reference but not many similar okay smooth here and a little bit all of that now i will sharpen at the bottom of the chain this horn draw here with my taste okay smooth a little bit and sharpen it here smooth bottom of the throat and spend more time for sculpt the ear okay now i'm just sharpen at the ear looks like an elf all right the tip of that actually and especially that okay let's deepen it here hole of the ear all right and draw here with my taste and anatomy now push it there all right with the grab brush and draw again here with draw sharp brush all right let's draw again and fix it that in trends of the ear let me scrape edge of the ear for sure better that from afar here here and cut it here all right with clay strips brush now i'm just fix that okay let's see this on other side looks nice but let me push it a little bit here and i think it's good okay let's fix the check on the face to below all right I'm just draw on that with clay strips brush add skin here to here okay I think it's good but uh, let me draw again here and to connect that the nose all right I think it's better let's draw here with the Draw sharp brush and fix it that with grab brush. Looks nice. Now I want to add detail here and with clay strips brush and draw sharp brush below of the nose because this orc is old a little bit okay now looks nice from afar for now i will add detail for bottom of the lips and fix it that with grab brush looks nice everything it's good but let me draw a little bit here all right and check the here and muscles of the jaw and the check all right and the face this is important on a render for show better that the details of the head and i think the face is good let's spend more time for fix and sculpt the throat and with clay strips brush actually draw here here and smooth a little bit that i think it's good now let's draw on sternet clay mastoid muscles okay 
I think it's good here, here, and here, and a smooth after draw. Okay, it's started that from back of the ear and continue that to the clavicle bone and connected that to the body. Okay, let's sharpen it here for shoulder that from afar looks like a wrinkle and I will script it the chain looks like a reference let me see this from left side and fix it stats on here let's make the traps from back of the character here actually this muscle is to connected that to back and body of the head right draw here and here for I'm just add details on that let me enable and turn on the stabilizer stroke for carefully draw all right smooth it looks nice draw here and smooth a little bit and sharpen it that and fix it i'm just move with the throat here and sharpen it again and push to outside with grab brush looks nice i think all right draw here i think it's good but let me uh, fix the connection the head to the body because it's very important for the character all of the character actually and for the next part actually the next part is body sculpt the body like this on the base and to the high poly with remesh now I'm just see this and find the flaws and wrong okay let's script between of the nose and the tip of that okay i think it's better push it here now i will spend more time for fix the nose and the eyebrow i think it's important because this character is falling and angry let me fix the nose and i think it should be a push to inside with draw sharp brush smooth it here now push it up a little bit and push down the eyebrow muscle now i will push to outside the check smooth it here and draw with the clay strips brush again on that okay to below and continuous and smooth after that okay now i will fix that and smooth it the eyelid okay bottom eyelid actually now i think the head is over i go to object mode and press shift a from mesh menu we need a uv sphere like a head i go to edit mode of that with press tab i go to sculpt mode again and move it here with the grab brush and especially with x-axis mirror for add hair okay let me use a snake hook brush for move it better now i think this orc hair style is interesting for me okay now i will move it here because actually the hairstyles of that it should be like a curve to back you know me so i am trying to do it in the best possible way 
actually the tip of that it should be a sharp so I will remesh that with default value and symmetrize that from that menu smooth a little bit not many smooths now I will sharpen it that here here okay sharpen it with hold control for draw to outside and inside now I will select the snake quick brush for give it position of that the hair style looks nice to here and the tip of that looks like a curved but without the x-axis mirror okay now let's enable again that for fix the between hair and head and for show better that I will sharpen it here push to outside actually draw to outside so let's see this and fix it that okay connected that logical to the head okay draw here with grab brush and for back of the hair the hair styles of the orc okay now I will fix that and thicker that actually the hair it should be a thicker for show better all right and now I'm not doing anything special right now I'm just trying to fix the hairstyles in the meantime you can support me with your comments like and subscribe my youtube channel all right let's use the snake egg brush all right let me move it a little bit here middle of the head start the hair now I switch that on the head for mask it the hybrid placements full value strange and draw on that with x-axis mirror okay draw carefully here I'm just sharpen at the edge of that actually we will export the mask and after that sculpt the eyebrow on head actually attached to the head okay I think it's good it's over let me fix it finally here let's press ctrl z and I think that is not good let's remove the mask with hold ctrl and draw connect it here and sharpen it the edge of that okay and remove a little bit here carefully all right I think it's good after that and for between side of the eyebrow very nice okay let me sharpen it here and here and here and end of that looks good I'm just see this on a far I go to mask menu and click on mask extract but without extract as solid okay that's good I press question mark key for focus on that let me delete this one and 
smoothes the end and edge of that, the corner. Okay, because it's a factor remesh from a quad. Now I go to data menu on a remesh, but not with the voxel with quad. 2000 it's good. Okay, now I think it's not work it, but that is not subdivide. Let's try again. I think 4000 it's good. Oops, that's not to work it. So let's try again. I will change that value to 1000. Let's try again. I press question mark for focus on that with quad remesh. Okay, oops, I think that's not good. Now I will enable this solutions. Okay, I go to scalp mode and now let's try again. All right, I will disable the X mirror axis. Let me add subdivision modifier on that and apply that with press Ctrl A and now I will remesh it again with quad. Okay, you can see that that's a worker. I want to wait for that for change the value of that, but I think that's not good because it's how a 40,000 quad of the remesh. I go to edit mode. Okay, let's press Ctrl Z and now I will set that to 4000 and let's remesh it again. Okay, I go to edit mode and now I will smooth the corner of that and the edge of that and main loop. I will sharpen it the corners and curve it here. Let's pinch it that with pinch brush. Actually the pinch brush shortcut is P. So smooth it here with hold and draw. Hold shift and draw. Okay. Draw again here with grab brush. Let me pinch that. Okay. Now I will pinch it with pinch brush and smooth a little bit. And also for here, it should be a, like a curved smooth here. Top of the eyebrow, push it here and pinch it and smooth it. Now for this one, Oops, I use pinch brush for move it that. Okay, looks good. Now I will move it to here. All right. Let me uh, smooth here. Let's see this. Now I will add solidify modifier from generate menu. Increase the thickness and offset. All right, you can see that. Let me decrease the offset and add the thickness. Looks good. Let's add subdivision modifier and mirror. All right, now let's fix that on face. I think it's good. For now, I will switch to the hair. I want to remesh the hair. I think close to 0 
300 it's good I smooth all of that a little bit and now i will use draw sharp brush draw here but uh, let me enable the stabilizer stroke from a stroke menu for draw on that carefully draw here because it should be a, like a curved here here and for this side of that okay here here actually with hold control and draw for draw to outside now all right uh, let's fix that the tip of the hair actually the hair style is very important for the head and this part let's draw here okay and again and for here also like that side here actually between and the bumps of the hair now i will scrape it with a script brush and pinch it the strand of the hair okay here 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 and for back of that here all right looks good from other side now i will fix it a little bit to here actually the connected that to the head is very good now I go to shading menu for enable the cavity and outline but let me disable the cavity we continue with the same outline and now I think we need the UV sphere for fix the eyes on the eyelid between eyelid and below of the eyebrow okay now i go to sculpting of the head for deepen it here the placement of the eyes and with draw brush and hold control for deepen it that you can see that from this side and for this eyes Okay, I will draw here without changing the eyelid. Draw for the border of the eyelid here. Let's smooth it. And now we'll smooth in trends of that. And now let me fix the eyes from between side okay on edits mode of that move it to here and here okay now I will fix the eyelid with the grab brush push it to here here and here now I will fix that again all right and now let's fix the eyelid again all right here 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 and here all right let me draw on that but without the stabilizer stroke with draw sharp brush okay here to here push it outside now I will add mirror modifier on that looks amazing but let me fix it a little bit the eyelid of the eyes okay here with the grab brush and now I will draw on that and sharpen it the edge of that so let me cut it here it should be a like old orc 
I'm just fix the eyes and edit mode of that. Okay, the sphere of the eyes. Now, let me fix the eyelid of that. Draw here, deepen it there, and now I will fix it again. All right. Everything is good, but uh, let me uh, add the details for the face. I go to sculpt mode of the head and I will draw here with the draw sharp brush for give it details on the check of the face here, here and draw here the check close to the nose sharpen it there i will fix it with the grab brush okay now let's smooth it here all of that all right and to here now Let's see this on other side, looks nice, but let me cut it here, the end of the eyes, okay, and now I will draw on that for add wrinkles of the forehead, alright, smooth it. And draw again here. All right, now I will smooth the sharpen it and extra bump. Okay, I think everything is good, but let me fix it a little bit. The back of the head and the give it details so it's very important because it's connected to the body now push it to here the throat and the connection of the body all right i think it's over in the next part we will make the body and arms and fingers don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye